This is We The Revolution. I was going to give a full in-depth review on this game. One of the rare times that I do, but I just have to play more of this game really to give you that. But I think a quick review, in a words, is this worth your pennies? Is it worth your money? Is there enough depth here? Oh, that's all those questions is yes. That's my quick review. But no, no, I have to explain a bit more about why this game is so good. You get a case file and each of the uh, accused and all the information is there in front of you. You have to read the information and pay attention to what's said for clues to answer the rapport, or the final verdict. There's also more they have to bear in mind, your global rapport, in, in other words, how much you're respected and everything like that, all the events going on in your life, all the chapters and days are all conveniently put into one area in your little journal in a journalistic form of course so you can read back everything you've done everything you might be doing wrong and you can correct it before it's too late and you end up on the guillotine yourself you know it's a really damn good game i thought it'd be good but i didn't know it'd be this good i was expecting it'd be you know like papers please but it's more in depth than that game that game's fun but this game is just on another level it's just really well made it's good fun to play as i said there's a lot of depth in this game there's so much you need to do now uh, before i get into that uh, i will show you some of the other bits and bobs about this game and why it's so bloody wonderful i mean this table here is where everything you need to, to know about the uh, the accused is kept information the case files it'll tell you the background the story of what they did wrong give you little pointers as well little tags that you have to pay attention to to maybe sway the uh, jury onto your side and obviously the right side and not anger them or you know you end up again on the guillotine they'll just or they'll just hang you on the street something like that you know your time is limited you have to please everyone but it's not just the jury and the revolutionists you know you also got to bear in mind that you know the people themselves are really going to be pissed if you start taking the law into your own hands if you don't do your homework like I've sometimes I've kind of accidentally kind of skipped through some of the information missed out on the questions and of course questions are what you need when you press rapport you get this wheel here this tells you basically what questions you can unlock to uh, show the jury the true course of events you show them the information the real facts and then you compile the facts with your end of the trial report which has to be signed by the prosecutor and it'll only get signed if you really or not most of the questions or at least you know uh, correctly avoided some of the traps you know but even if you hit some of the traps and there's some sneaky ones you can still win the case by just doing the right thing you know and obviously you've got to do your homework you'll end up on the guillotine yourself we keep screwing up but again the game is a lot of fun there's lots to do here and lots to think about it makes you think this game you know it's pretty darn decent the end of the uh, trial will give you the report you'll sign it and if you did a good job you got all the questions right or most of them and you've done a good job then of course the prosecutor will sign it and there we go you get marked accordingly let's on to the next well room i should say but yeah it's a really decent game well, there's one more thing I have to talk about, of course. What happens when you've actually done your job? Well, when you've done your job properly, well, you can go home and see your family, your loving family. But of course, before you see your family, you've got to pass your judgment. And that was a good one. That was the right decision. But then your enemies will just suddenly turn up and they'll, uh, you know, they'll threaten you. And that's when you have to worry because obviously they'll be trying to kill you or discredit you and put you out of the game, which you just don't want. So it is a decent game. Now, of course, when you're getting threatened by these little peach squeaks like that, don't be too worried because you just have to have a look at this map. But don't let the map put you off. It's just basically taking over parts of the suburbs of France. Well, mainly Paris, not France. Jesus, the game's not that big. <laughs> But Fidel is you. That is you. You are the judge, jury and executioner. If you're powerful enough and if you can climb that social ladder, the world is yours. Paris is yours. The world's your oyster and all that sort of stuff. But it's such 
a great game. It's intriguing. It gets you thinking. And yeah, the narrative uh, throws a few kind of spans in the work. Sometimes you'll be in the middle of a what seems to be a cut and dry case, and I'll throw some last minute evidence at you just to keep you on your toes. And you have to make the right decisions. And sometimes it'd be disastrous, and it can you know, what can be an open and shut case can really blow back to haunt you and get you killed. Again, the game is really uh, all about the variety. The family meetings, of course, you've got to keep them all happy, and as usual, it's just like real life. No one's ever happy. It's just a uh, day-to-day thing where your son's in a good mood, your wife's in a good mood, and then, you know, your dad's in a bad mood, and, you know, your, the mother-in-law's in a bad mood. and You know, it, it's keeping the whole family uh, together. It's basically... Your two sons, your wife, and your dad is uh, is usually there for advice and usually good advice. But again, it's just distraction. I actually don't enjoy this part of it. It's kind of glossed over a bit. I think it's brushed, but it is a good mechanic and it's welcome in the game. I just don't enjoy it that much. But sometimes it can be interesting. But again, if your kid's unhappy, then oof, we'll betide you because. They can give info back to your enemies, and you know if you feel, realize that your wife is unhappy, then you know rumors spread, and that uh, will affect your reputation. You don't want that. Overall, if I was to rate this game, I give it, I give it a good solid eight. The rest of the game is excellent, of course. The jury bit, you know, the actual being a judge is fun. It's it is like papers, please. Everyone's saying that, but. It's got some little twists that make it a lot more different than that game, you know. All those comparisons are pretty well founded. Again, the uh, reason why you should buy this game is for the fact that it's really fun to play and you want to play more.